Hey y'all, it's Meredith and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today and I'm excited because today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some fun activities you can do this summer to help you grow in your faith or really just to help you maintain your faith. I know that personally when I had summer breaks I used to fall into some bad habits of like sleeping in really late or at night, you know, watching Netflix every night before I go to sleep rather than you know, doing something like getting up early to read my Bible. And you would think that over summer when you have more time on your hands, you'd be more likely to pour into your faith and, you know, pray more often, read your Bible more often, study more often. But I think that that's just not always the case for all of us because we're on summer break and we just get lazy. Let me know if that's happened to you too. But I came up with a list of five things that I think would be super fun to do this summer. Not only are they, you know, fun summer related activities, but they also will be good ways for you to maintain your faith, stay active in the word, and um, not fall into any kind of slumps over the summer. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these you plan to do this summer or which one's your favorite. Um, I don't even have a summer break anymore, but I will probably be doing some of these this summer too. So we can just all do them together. All right, the first thing on my list actually has to do with watching TV because like I said, over the summer, I feel like we just get kind of lazy. We want to be watching more movies, more TV shows. And so something I would recommend if you have not seen it yet would be to watch the series called The Chosen. This is a relatively new TV series that is based on the life of Jesus and his disciples that he chose um, or the chosen ones and it walks through what their day-to-day -day lives looked like and it portrays a lot of popular stories from the Bible that you would probably recognize. And obviously if you have more time on your hands I think it would be great to actually read along with the scriptures that each of the episodes are portraying so that you can be in the word. Um, but if you are wanting to binge watch a show this summer I think this would be a good one to watch. And by the way, I think you have to download it on an app. I haven't watched the whole season yet, but I do have an app where I watch it on my phone. So if you look for it in the app store, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Item number two is for all of you crafty girls out there who love to like do fun sort of crafty things over the summer. I'm not sure why. When I was younger, I mean, I love the store Michaels, like the craft store, but for whatever reason over the summer, I was just always there, I guess, because I love to do crafty things. So if you are the same, something I would recommend that you pick up this summer, maybe a new hobby for you, would be Bible journaling. And I actually made a video about this years ago, probably like five or six years ago now, when I was, I think, a freshman in college. And I sort of walked through what Bible journaling is. And what's really awesome is it's actually one of the most highly viewed videos on my channel. So um, praise the Lord for that. And hopefully a lot of people have seen it and are you know putting it into practice but basically bible journaling um doesn't i mean it doesn't really require anything technically you could just you know find some bible verses that you really like and portray them artistically whether that be in a painting or calligraphy or anything like that but um what a lot of people do is they go and purchase one of these specific journaling bibles that has um extra space on the margins as you can see and then what what I like to do um, is just as I'm reading if I come across a verse that I think could be portrayed really beautifully I will just paint something or I'll draw something or I'll write out the verse in you know some kind of calligraphy and it just is it's fun for me because it helps me to sit there and really spend a lot of time meditating on this one verse as I, you know, write it out over and over again or as I'm painting something. It just helps me devote my time fully to the verse at hand and um, it's something that I really enjoy. And so if you also enjoy painting or artwork or anything like that, um, I would recommend checking out Bible journaling. There are a lot of awesome resources for it online and it's really fun. Number three is for all of you outdoorsy girls out there. Something that I like to do, I, I don't really have a fun name for it. I should probably come up with something more exciting. On my list, I just wrote prayer hikes, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. But what I like to do over the summer when it feels so nice outside is take my headphones and what I'll do is 
pull up a great worship playlist on Spotify. If you don't have any yet, just do some searching. I'm sure you can find some good ones out there. Um, or maybe I can even link some down below. But I will take my headphones and I will pull up my worship music and then I'll really just put my phone on airplane mode and take myself on a hike by myself and um, sometimes I'll bring a journal with me or bring my Bible and find a nice place to sit. Or it's nice to just have that time where it's just you and the Lord and you got your headphones in and you're just focused and in the moment and I love nature, I love being outdoors, and so I always find that it's a great place to just be at peace and to connect with the Lord. And so if you have time this summer and you want to take any fun hikes, obviously be safe if you like go by yourself, um, but I think that that's a really fun thing to do all year round, but specifically in the summer because personally I hate the cold weather. So summertime is when, when those prayer hikes happen for me. The fourth thing I have on my list is to volunteer with a vacation Bible school at your church. Or if you have time, I know we're really pushing it with the time limit here, but attend some kind of Christian camp over the summer. My last video talked all about Christian camps in general, um, but if you're not able to actually attend a camp yourself, I would recommend volunteering. I think almost every church out there that has any kind of children's programming puts on a VBS or Vacation Bible School over the summer, and I know that they always, always are in need of more volunteers to help. So especially if you are high school aged or even if you're in college and have free time during the day, um, I know that it is always so helpful to the people that are putting on these programs um, for you to go and volunteer your time with the kids. And personally, I love kids, so I always loved volunteering with VBS, but it's just a good way to serve and give back to your church and hang out with some cute little kids and probably really help them in their walk with the Lord. So if you have free time, check with your church, see if they have a vacation Bible school this summer and if there's anything you can do to help. All right, and the very last thing on this list, number five, is going to be to start a summer devotional. And it's really easy to find different devos out there. They have them that are only a week long. They have them that are a year long. But I think it would be really helpful if over the summer you found one that was a good like two or three months so that you're able to fit it in in your summer break and it can really just have your full attention for the summer. You can focus on one topic. Or if you like to switch it up, maybe you can find some weekly ones that you do and go back and forth between those. I will say that the Bible app that probably a lot of people watching this video already have downloaded on their phone, it has a lot of really great devotionals on it and it's really easy to search by topics. Um, now obviously I can't vouch for every single plan that is available on the app, so I would maybe do a little further research before you completely devote your time to one of these. But another company that I really love is called the Daily Grace Company and I used to partner with them back in the day and still really love their products. I've done some of their devotionals before and I think they're actually having a sale right now. Obviously this is not sponsored at all, but I'll link their website down below. They do these awesome summer sales where they sell all of their devotionals for like $5 I think and they come in these beautiful booklets and I have really enjoyed the ones that I've done in the past. So I would definitely recommend their devotionals. She Reads Truth is another great one. If you need another devotional option, I would recommend them as well. And I can put their website down below if you're interested. All right, y'all, those were the five things that I would recommend for you to do this summer. I'm really hopeful and just praying that someone out there will just take one of these items, like literally just pick one thing on this list and take some time to do it this summer. And my prayer is that it would help you grow in your faith and that it would strengthen your relationship with the Lord. And obviously we don't have to wait around for summer break to come before we're able to pour back into our faith. But I do realize that the school year can be super stressful on students and you know, you may not have as much time to devote to your faith as you would like to. So I hope and pray that this summer you'll be able to take some needed time to just relax and get in a more peaceful state of mind and pour into your relationship with the Lord. And even if you're not on summer break like me, hopefully you can take some inspiration from these ideas and still put them to use in your life. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.